Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing about the Grand Palladium Bravaro Resort Suites and Spa. Did I get it right? I think I did. I'm gonna be reviewing them for you and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the cost, the accommodations, the customer service, the food, the drinks, and if I would recommend staying at this resort again. I stayed there recently with my husband with a bigger group because we had an event. It was a blast, but I wanna be specific. You know, I have some vlogs. I'll list them down in the description box for those of y'all that wanna kinda see me enjoying the resort. Here, I wanna kinda answer some of the things that you'd wanna know prior to paying for a trip. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So first thing that we gotta talk about is the money, because without the money, you ain't going, right? So you gotta know how much it is. We paid about $967 per person because we booked through a travel agent. So before you click off, like, oh hell no, that's too much. I want y'all to know, I pulled up the website myself and I put in similar dates, a Thursday to Monday, just to see how much it would be for two people. And I found out that it's about $1,000 for two adults. So I'm not saying don't use your travel agent. All I'm saying is um, if you don't wanna use your travel agent, you will definitely come out cheaper. The amount that I spent uh, for just myself is the amount that I'm seeing right now for some dates in the current month. The extra that I paid actually went towards the fee for the travel agent, the ride to and from the airport, the um, COVID testing, and the excursion, which was a party boat experience. And so if you are just looking at cost of room only, it's definitely gonna be cheaper to go through the resort. And if you have groups of 11 or more, you can get a bigger discount if y'all plan it without a travel agent. So that's that. Let's talk about what I didn't like. There wasn't much that I didn't like, but the one thing that I did not like is important for me to share because y'all are spending your money. Just like I spent my money, y'all are spending your money. So I want y'all to know so y'all can make an educated option when you're planning your vacation, right? The food. The food left something to be desired. I'm sorry, it just did. They had uh, several restaurants and they had some buffets. They had a buffet called El Torres and they had a buffet called El Bejic. El Bejic was my favorite buffet of the two. I ate breakfast and lunch there. I ate most of my meals there when we didn't miss our meals because we were celebrating or doing whatever. Um, the buffet, it was hit or miss. My advice is if you're gonna eat on the resort to make reservations. They have a steakhouse and a hibachi restaurant that I did not get to encounter because of what we were doing while we were on the trip. But I heard from people that I traveled with that the food was good, it was better. So if I were to plan my own trip to this resort again, I would definitely make reservations at the restaurants each day. It's not an extra cost. The restaurants are available, but you cannot just walk in. You have to make a reservation in order to eat there. If you don't wanna make reservations, you don't know what you're doing, you don't have an itinerary for your trip, then you're gonna have to eat the buffets or the bar food that is around because they don't require reservations. You know, you go to a buffet, they usually don't replenish something until it's eaten. So if you are having people coming and going, they're replenishing it as best as they can, but it's not gonna be as fresh as when you sit at a sit down restaurant, put your order in and they go cook it and they bring it to your table fresh. You see what I'm saying? So for me, my favorite food was at El Bejic. I love the plantains, I love the made to order omelet, the made to order waffles. I ate a lot of papas fritas and um, beef. For lunch, they had like this beef type stuff. It kind of looked like oxtails. The seasoning was on point. Those are some of my favorite things that I ate while I was on vacation. Less desirably at the Extra Time Buffet, they had like nacho buffet and they had some steak, but it was a little bit on the dry side. My husband didn't like it, but I did. I ate it with pico de gallo and guacamole. The guacamole was really loose and creamy, but it paired very well. They had some fried chicken wings. They work to soak up your alcohol, but they were not like seasoned with salt in my opinion. So 
it's edible food but it's not anything to phone home about so just keep that in mind again if i came back to this resort i would most definitely go off the resort during the day to eat i was able to go off the resort for our excursion and some of the people that i traveled with on a larger scale like i came with my husband we were a part of a group of like 30 people that came out they went off the resort and there was a place near los tres that had uh, salmon and seafood and they had their food for like eight dollars usd so don't be afraid to go off the resort during the daytime and get you some food you can walk on the beach past the los tres which the grand bavaro it has four resorts within the one resort los tres is like the more pricier upscale one it has more amenities and things like that Bavaro is the less expensive one and I believe children can come so if you're wondering like is this an adults only resort the Bavaro is not but the Los Tres I believe is and they have a secret pool for adults only and it's open until midnight etc etc so keep that in mind for me the biggest thing that I did not like was the food moving on to the drinks the drinks that they included to me were amazing they were good I had some of the best alcoholic drinks that I've ever had to date at this resort. My favorites were the margaritas. I love the original margarita with salt on the rim. I love the strawberry margarita. It was so good. Fernando and Sandra, they did their thing, okay? Sandra was over by El Bejic near the bar pool, and so was Fernando, funny enough. So those are my best drinks. Hector, he works in customer service. You might see him in guest services. He was amazing as well, great customer service, but he ordered me and my husband shots of Mama Juana. That was fun. Um, Mama Juana, I recommend that you try it. You may not like it, you may like it, I don't know. I don't wanna tell you what it tastes like, I just want you to try it, but it will bring some fun to follow and probably some good sleep. Um, I also had this really good passion fruit mojito. I think it was called El Mojito con China. Cocina, I don't know. Cocina means kitchen. It wasn't kitchen, but El Mojito Cocina. I'm going to leave the vlog down below. Hector says it in that video. That was one of the best mojitos I've ever had. So I'm sad because I'm back in Atlanta and I'm not going to get that flavor if I go to my favorite bar and ask for that. It's not going to taste the same. I don't know how they make margaritas over here, but they got it made the right way over there. You are worried about all-inclusive and you think the drinks aren't going to be good don't worry i do think that the drinks will be good now on the contrary my husband he is not a big tequila person so he did not like the drink options as much as i did and he said that if he were to come back again he would want to check a bag so that he could bring what he likes so if you are more of a whiskey drinker a scotch drinker um or you like specific american drinks then you may want to bring your own alcohol but for me that defeats the purpose of us playing for all inclusive you know my husband drank a lot of el presidente beers they did have some scotch over there but it just wasn't the one that he usually drinks at home and they had like rums they had lots of rums and different things like that so that's my opinion of the drinks i would give it five out of five the food i'm gonna give it a three out of five because i found things that i liked but the food was just okay at best I have nothing that I could say was just amazing at all when it comes to the food. Drinks, five out of five. Um, the accommodations, let's talk about it. So our room. We stayed in a junior garden view suite. You basically have a view of the inside of the like resort where it's like you basically it's like garden, like they say. You could kind of see the trees and the nature, the path to get to and from places. Our room was room number 1234, which was one, two, three, four. It was so convenient because I could literally be like, you know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> Our room did not really have anything wrong with it. There were some ants that come into our bathroom, but nothing that I need to call housekeeping for because housekeeping, let's get on housekeeping. They went above and beyond to clean our room daily, okay? They did not make the excuse about Rona. They cleaned that room. They waxed our floors. They made the beds. They changed the linens. They changed the, the towels. I didn't have to ask for anything. It really put these hotels in the US to shame with the laziness and the excuses because honestly, since we are in a pandemic, we should be cleaning more. But this hotel, this resort, you don't have to worry about them not cleaning because they're gonna come and clean your room and they're gonna mop the floor too. 
I give them 10 out of 10 on cleanliness. Uh, the room itself, it had a king bed. It had a garden tub with a whirlpool jacuzzi. And yes, we did get in that thing. I recommend that you get in there. Okay, the vibes, the vibes. Um, it had a stand and shower. And it had a bathroom with a glass door. So the bathroom was in. But because it had a door, it helped to keep the funk out. They did provide shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner, and soap. I brought my own soap. I like my own scents. I don't like using everybody else's stuff. Some of the soap, we did have to use some of the shampoo after uh, going to the beach. And it didn't lather up. So like I said, bring your own of that stuff. But they do give it to you. The room was set for a vibe. Like, I, I really loved how, like, romantic it looked with the, the towels all folded in swans and pretty flowers and stuff. Like, it's setting a mood for pregnancy. So, like, if you're trying to go with your man, with your woman, with whoever your boo thing is at the moment, and you're looking for a vibe, for some intimacy, you will get that in your suite. Now, as far as what the resort offered to do, like if you were on a vacation on a budget, let's say, you could definitely enjoy yourself here. If you like to be outside, if you like to go to the beach, if you like to go to the pool, you like to drink and just kind of dance and stuff like that, this resort offers it. So one of the days we went to the El Bahik pool area, the pool is huge, plenty of seats plenty of space and a separate pool behind for the kids so the kids were in the pool but it wasn't nothing like they splashing and being loud and annoying and then they had kids section as this well this is a family friendly resort and you can enjoy yourself with your family if you wanted to but at the same time you could go as an adult and still enjoy yourself because like i said they have the little stress which is adults only it's the adults only side um I love the pool, okay? First of all, it was big. It wasn't too deep. It's perfect to get those aesthetically cute pictures for the gram. And the pool bar that was included by the El Bejic, you could go in the water and order a drink, which was so cool and convenient. They also had this really big center, which is where we had our fitness event. So like if you wanted to plan a wedding or some sort of birthday party celebration and they have a place to accommodate that, just call them and ask. That was very nice. Beach is close, is walking distance. It's like a five minute walk from our room. Loved being so close to the beach. I went to the beach three times, I think, while I was there. And I sincerely enjoyed just being able to be that close to it and just kind of walk out and see it in the morning and just kind of take in that fresh air. It was very relaxing. Plenty of seating. Again, they have plenty of like chairs and places for you to sit. They provide you with towels. You they give you a card when you check in for your towels and for your room. And you give the card, they give you towels, you bring the towels back, they give you the card back. It's really convenient. They had a basketball court, a tennis court, outdoor activities at the pool by the El Bahik. I like that they had this um, fitness, water fitness. They had like water Zumba and stretching and things like that. So there's plenty of things to do on a resort to keep you busy. They had a casino. We didn't even go to the casino. So like if you stayed for a full week, you could literally do different things every day. If you don't want to just stay on the resort, don't worry. The locals that sell stuff will approach you when you're on the beach because the beach is public, you know? So there's a side that's like resort side that kind of have to stay away. But as you go out, you'll see people approaching you to ask you if you want to go parasailing or if you want to go on a party boat excursion, if you want to go snorkeling. And the prices are not bad. Like we almost did parasailing, but we didn't because we ended up doing something else instead. But it was like $40 a person and you can always negotiate, never accept that first price because they be gouging. So from everything to sunglasses to wood carvings, we actually did buy a wood carving and take it home. Shout out to David, he did a great job. I saw people parasailing while I was eating my lunch. So like it was very much a activity based and fun place to be and plenty of things to do. One of my friends went horseback riding on the beach. So if you're worried about like accommodations and is it worth it, I definitely think it's worth it. You will not be bored at this resort. Touching on food real quick one more time. Most of the restaurants close around 10 or 10.30, but there is one 24 hour buffet. It's called Extra Time. I didn't like the food very much the first day 
Um, but the second time that I went, I like I said, I found some steak and guacamole and pico. It's chips and honey, I made it work because it was good and I was hungry. So just keep that in mind. You can always order room service. Everything is all inclusive except the room service. So the room service fee was $10 charge to your room you can't pay with cash you have to charge to the room we didn't want to do that um we did end up getting complimentary room service and the food was just okay so if anything y'all try to get to the places before they close and make those reservations customer service i saved the best for last because these people make you feel like family I loved it, okay? They remembered our room number. They didn't have a problem coming to get us, to drive us around. My husband experienced some pain because of his pinched nerve, and they took care of him like he was family. They brought a wheelchair. They helped us to our rooms. They gave us complimentary room service because we couldn't go out to dinner that night, and we had to miss our dinner reservation. They went above and beyond, okay? I was so sad to say goodbye. So if anything is important to you is like, for me, it's definitely feeling like royalty, like family, like you are relaxed, don't worry, we got you when you are on vacation. I don't wanna have to go through a whole bunch of drama and I just, you know, I don't like that. So shout out to the staff. Y'all are doing something right. Y'all have mastered hospitality and America, come on, y'all need to take some notes. I will say that some of the people in my group may have had problems with their room. One of my friends, their room was upgraded to a very nice pool, inclusive room that had like a balcony with a pool included. So like we just had a little basic balcony junior suite, but they have some really nice pool included, jacuzzi included suites. You can take it next level aesthetically if you care about that. For me, I'm like, we ain't even gonna be in this room, okay? We finna be out, we finna be drinking, we ain't finna be in the room the whole time. So I'm not gonna pay more for a better room this time around, especially because we went through somebody else and it was already very expensive in my opinion per person. So overall, I know I gotta end it to tell you guys would I stay here again? Absolutely. Even with the food not being great, I would stay there again because customer service, drinks, and accommodations were worth it. So if anything, I would just say next time around if we do stay here, I'll probably bring Josiah with me to do it as a family trip. And I would make reservations so that we could get some better food. That's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section down below. I am gonna leave every single video that I have about this experience in Punta Cana. If you wanna see some fun, some vlogs, some party boat turn up, it's all in the description box. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. I am on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to help me reach it, go ahead and hit that red button. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.